welcome back dear friends we will solve problem 5.15 so statement is for the beam and loading shown determine the maximum normal stress due to the bending on transverse section of c so you can see this is the cross section of the beam which having height 300 millimeter and weight is 80 millimeter and this beam a b having uniformly distributed load of 1.8 kN per meter and two concentrated load at point D and C that is 3 kN. So uh, what we have to solve for we have to find the maximum normal stress on transverse section of the transverse section of section at c so let's start with the solution as we know that bending stress is equal to m into c divided by i which is the maximum bending stress so maximum bending stress is mc over i where m is the bending moment c is the uh, distance from neutral axis to the topmost layer and i is the moment of inertia so we will require moment uh, for solving this uh, problem and for finding this moment first of all we will need reaction support at point A and point B but you can see we are going to find the moment uh, maximum stress at C so if you have this reaction force which is RA that will be sufficient so reaction at c can be found by using the equilibrium condition reaction at sorry a is can be found by using the equation that sum of all moments about point b is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so moment about point b is due to the first load which is this one r a so r a into perpendicular distance is 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 which is 4.5 and since this moment is producing clockwise moment so therefore this will be negative the other moment that is produced due to the load of 3 kN and that 3 kN in perpendicular distance is this one so it is producing the counterclockwise moment so that's why it will be positive so plus 3 into perpendicular distance is 3. The other force that is producing moment is 3 kN and perpendicular distance is 1.5 and it is also producing counterclockwise moment so it will be also positive. So it will be plus 3 into perpendicular distance is 1.5. The last force which is producing moment is this distributed load which is 1.8 kN per meter. So when you multiply 1.8 into total length which is 4.5 so you will have concentrated load at the mid and that mid will be equal to 2.25. So let convert this 1.8 into total length which is 4.5 and it will produce a force that is acting at the I will write it 1.8 into 4.5 this will be the force and perpendicular distance will be the half which is 1.5 plus 0 0.75 and that is equal to 2.25 so 2.25 their sum must be equal to zero so when you solve this you will get the reaction force at point a comes out to be 7.05 kilo newton okay now we have this reaction force at point a so you can see you can take this ac this ac portion as free body diagram so we will write this that use ac as free body so what we have to do is that we have to draw the free body diagram so this is point a where we have r a and there is distributed load on this beam 
and this load is given as 1.8 kilo newton per meter and at point c there is a a load of 3 kilo newton as well but you can neglect it why because you will see in a while this is point c so when you cut the beam at point c so definitely there will be a shear force reaction shear force and there will be a bending moment and distance between point a and c is 1.5 meter so we are interested in find out this bending moment so for that we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point c is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive now you can see that uh, at point c the first moment is due to this load and perpendicular distance is this one so i will write 1.5 times this is the distance multiplied by r a and r a is 7.5 zero five so this is producing clockwise movement clear so that's why i will write uh, this as negative the other force that is producing movement about point c is is this distributed load so we'll write this distributed load will be first converted into load point load so 1.8 and length is 1.5 now it will act at the middle of the beam so 1.5 divided by 2 is 0 0.75 and since this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive and this 3 kilo newton force is passing through point c it is not producing any movement so their sum must be equal to zero and also there is external movement at point c that is counterclockwise so i will write it also so this will be the moment so when you solve this you will get this moment at point c comes out to be 8.55 kilo newton into meter or you can say that this will be equal to 8.55 into 10 to power 3 newton into meter okay so let's move and uh, we know that maximum bending stress is equal to m into c divided by i so from here you can see that c will be made from the mid till this point this is c and c will be equal to this is your neutral axis so c will be 300 divided by 2 which is equal to 150 millimeter and in term of meter it will be 0 0.15 meter so c is equal to 0 0.150 meter i is equal to bh cube over 12 so we have breadth is 80 millimeter you can see this is 80 and total height is 300 so 80 into 80 into 300 whole cube divide by 12 and that will give you i is equal to this is 12 not 2 so bhq or 12 so it will be 180 into 10 raised to power 6 millimeter power 4 and in meter it will be equal to 180 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter 4 so now you have i you have c you have m as well i will highlight it you can see that this is m this is c and this is i all the three values are present so you can put it in this formula so sigma max will be equal to 8.55 into 10 to power 3 multiply by 0.150 divide by 180 into 10 to the power minus 6 so after calculating you can find the maximum stress at points uh, at c comes out to be 7.125 into 10 to the power 6 pascal r maximum stress comes out to be 7.13 mega pascal so this is the answer if you draw the section 
at point C, the beam section at point C. So let this is your neutral axis. So maximum stress will be here and minimum stress will be zero. Clear? So your stresses will be, or you can say like if you draw it like this, so you, your stress will be somewhat like this. So this is your maximum stress, which is 7.13 mega Pascal. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.